Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Lean and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. I've been presenting at user groups and conferences for about two years now and along the way I've picked up some hints and tips on how to make that presenting experience much more enjoyable. Now today's video I want to show you something in PowerPoint that I've learned. There's often been cases where you have an abundance of slides and only a short space of time and you don't want to stand there with your clicker and have to shuffle through like 20 slides saying to the audience, oh, I wish I had time to show you this because it looks a bit unprofessional. In PowerPoint, there's actually a little button that uh, allows you to skip through those slides without showing the audience that experience. So let's dive in to how to do that. So here we are in presenter mode of PowerPoint, and this will probably be the, the display that you have on your laptop or your desktop when you're presenting in front of an audience. It shows you the current slide, your next slide, your notes, and we have some shortcut buttons here. Now there are two ways for you to actually utilize the shortcut to skip slides within the presenter mode. The first one is the little square bit with another square on top of it, or we can click on the bit that says slide one of 36. Now, if we click on slide one of 36, what happens is that we get an overview of all our slides and we also get a breakdown of the sections. So down the left hand side, you see the sections of your presentation. Now, this is another great tip. Build your presentation into sections. Then that way you can organize your slides. And when you want to skip, if you need to skip, you can see that quite quickly, especially if you have large decks, you can skip all the way to the other sections as well. So here we can click on a section, then find the slide that we want and click on it. And what happens is quickly the presentation actually flips to that slide. The audience don't see us playing around in the presenter mode. They just see the slide changing at their end. That way you can skip ahead, you can go back to other slides and, and keep that seamless performance for your audience. And it's a great way, like I said, if you have too much content and you need to skip ahead or someone in the audience asks a question and you have a slide that references it, you can skip ahead to that without revealing content that you still have to go and cover or if you have to go back and reference stuff. It is a great shortcut and I really do recommend that you have a play with it and utilise it in your sessions going forward.